Hi. Today we're going to be looking at the electronic variable cam control system found on many late model engines. Variable cam control is used to control the inlet cam, exhaust cam or both. In this example, we'll be looking at the inlet camshaft only. Here, we have a camshaft with a mechanically adjustable vernier cam gear. You'll notice that the cam gear can be adjusted plus or minus 12 camshaft degrees depending on the requirements of the engine. If the inlet camshaft is advanced, the engine will make more power down low in the rev range but will lose power higher in the rev range. Likewise, if the inlet camshaft is retarded, the engine will lose down low power and pick up high RPM power. Knowing this, we know that vernier cam gears are used to adjust the power band of the engine. The downside of the vernier cam gear is that the tuner needs to set the camshaft in a position that gives the best power for the application, sacrificing some of the low down power and sacrificing some of the top end power. Late model engines with electronically variable cam control have the best of both worlds, allowing the tuner to tune the engine on a 3D table, allowing around 30 degrees of cam movement depending on RPM and engine load. The Haltec does this by measuring the angle between the crankshaft and camshaft using the crank and cam sensors. It then outputs a signal to an electronically controlled oil solenoid, which can be seen here. This electronic solenoid allows oil in and out of the cam gear to advance and retard the camshaft. When the camshaft is in the correct position, it is sent a lock duty cycle, in this case, a 50% duty cycle. When the camshaft is to be advanced, the duty cycle is increased to around 60% until the cam is in the desired position, then the lock duty of 50% is applied to hold it in its new position. Likewise, if the camshaft needs to be retarded, a duty cycle of around 40% is applied until the cam is in the right position. Then the lock duty is applied to hold the camshaft in position again. That's all we have time for today. In our next video, we'll be looking at tuning your variable cam timing using the Haltec ECU Manager. Don't forget to comment and subscribe in the space below. My name's Scott, thanks for watching.